How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 9 in my Lambda Expressions in Java 8 series. This tutorial I'm going to be going over and manipulating characters in a string. Now just to uh, start, I think if you've been watching this whole series all we've been doing is taking lists, streaming them, and then applying Lambda Expressions on uh, those streams of data for each element. But what if we wanted to uh, you know, use lambda expressions on a string. So, say, each character, print out each character, filter out certain letters out of the strings, sort of thing. So, that is what I want to talk about. Um, and let's get started. So, open Eclipse. I have already created this class called Manipulating Characters Java, and I created a random string which just has a bunch of gibberish in it. But you'll also notice that it has some letters. So what I want to do is take this string and just print out the digits that are in it. Forget the letters. We're just going to print out all the numbers. So first as usual, I'm going to go over how we would do that in Java 7. So simple for loop for int int i equals 0 semicolon. Keep going while i, I is less than random, which is the name of my string, dot length and then i++. Plus plus. Now to determine if it is a digit or not we are going to uh, use um, an if statement. I don't know why I couldn't think about that. Alright, so if chair ictor dot is digit and then in here where it's ch we are going to pass in random dot char at i okay and then at this point if it is a digit then we're just going to print that digit out so system dot out dot print line and pass in our uh, random dot char at i again all right and let's run this run and there we go alright now let's do this using Java 8 uh, lambda expressions and streams and characters all that stuff so for Java 8 how we do this is we take our random and up until this point we would have uh, streamed but since we're working with a string we can't do that the equivalent of this for a string is the char method. So string dot char. In this case, our string is called random. So random dot chars. I should say there's an s on the end. And then everything afterward is what we want to do with all these characters. Right now, each character in the string is going through the pipeline. First thing we want to do is filter. Filter, and then in here we are going to use a method reference lambda expression. So character double colon is digit. If you don't know about method references, watch the last tutorial I did in this series. Talked about method references and how they work. And no, I don't want all match. Next, what we're going to do is dot map. Actually, no, I'm going to skip that for a second. I'm going to we're going to skip that for now. Just so I can show you what would happen if we don't map this. Um, and we're just going to end this off by uh, dot for each and pass in here system dot out double colon print ln now why did I want to skip the map just to show you right now we don't get the same thing well each letter uppercase and lowercase as well as each number has a char value so our number seven has a char value of 55 number uh, 9 has 57 number 1 49 so uh, each uh, number each letter they all have a different char value well we want this as our number value like the number we originally had in the string we don't want the char value printed out we just want the number so what we have to do is map this I just wanted to uh, kinda show you what would happen if we didn't map it so dot map and what we're gonna do is put in character 
double colon. Uh, it's either get numeric value or to numeric value. I can't remember exactly. Okay, it is get numeric value. So just pass that in. Now when we run this, we uh, get what we wanted. So that is how you can manipulate a string. You just call the string.chars method, and then you can use all the methods I've taught you up to this point. So filtering, mapping, the for each one. And yeah, that's all I want to talk about in this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a comment on the video, like the video, and subscribe. Check out codingbasics.ca for a forum as well as uh, additional tutorial help. And I will see you in the next video.